fuming, slipping on the words, okay, and intelligence. So what's going on here? They're fuming me and it's changing the way I look. It's making me look more like a gay white westerner or something in a frat. Why? Well, first of all, let's consider mental health and forced medication. Everyone knows there's a huge pharmaceutical lobby. The pharmaceutical industry is one of the most profitable industries. They throw their weight around. They settle billions of dollars lawsuits all the time. Well, maybe not all the time, but historically at several points. Okay. They're scum. They are control freaks. Shrinks are called shrinks for a reason. They want you, your importance to shrink while their importance grows. They want to say, oh, yes, we're important. Yes, we're in some kind of fraternity club like Skull and Bones. Oh, we're in some club, some club for less important people than that. Oh, 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 oh. they're type of bitches, okay? They're like cops to, on steroids trying to force medicate people at every fucking turn, okay? So when they release me from the psych ward, when they put me there unfairly, as historically they do, Martha Mitchell effect, the whistleblower effect. Obviously, I'm a whistleblower times infinity. You know, when you see what I'm doing, okay? You know, Ionia State Hospital, the Rosenhan experiment would prove the psychiatrists don't know what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to schizophrenia, okay? They fell for his trap and they, they proved definitively they're just liars, they're just oppressors, okay? There's a huge outcry for them to come up with a, a, a valid diagnostic test for mental illness and not their stupid questionnaires. They rely on the patient's uh, explanation of his symptoms, first and foremost, perhaps. I mean, we see that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're control freaks. And they're like that black guy right there who keeps making the white LGBT and feminist establishment look bad, drug him. And who runs politics? The, the white right, the token minorities who, who kiss, who say yes, master, like a good bitch, the feminists and the LGBT community. They run politics, the scientists, the nerds. These are the types of people I criticize who control big pharma and mental health and law enforcement and everything else, every culture that's allowed. Bitch ass, sniveling oppressors. The neo-colonialist, wig-wearing, LGBT-like, white supremacist, scientific racist, you know, British, and so on and so forth. Just scumbag, Leopold, King Louis, just horrible, 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 arrogant, pretentious, pompous, horrible, rep reprehensible, abhorrent, miserable scum who fucking know that they can't live a fulfilling life unless they put the righteous in charge, which they'll never do. So they crack down on motherfuckers. Hey, fuck you. I ordered that five minutes ago. Bitch-ass motherfuckers. Okay? They're like, we don't like what he's saying. Fume him. Make him slip on his words. Punk motherfuckers that don't realize that this makes them look worse and not better. But they're such sexual sadist control freaks that they're not going to stop. They have sexual sadist disorder. They are narcissists. One in five... CEOs, according to them, are psychopaths. So when you have a stupid life direction, doesn't matter if you have a PhD from fucking Yale and, and one from fucking Cambridge, okay? You're still a stupid fuck. When somebody slips on his words and is morally precise, but he's having trouble articulating because a bunch of sniveling worms who want to be seen as superior and more intelligent than him are fuming him, okay? He is way more wise and intelligent than they are. It's that fucking simple. Anyone who doesn't see it that way is fucking retarded, okay? Gargamel in the Smurfs with a bunch of fucking think tank bitches helping him out is a fucking idiot. So all the Lex Luthor type of bitch ass motherfuckers helping him out. Any questions?